Once you know somebody a little bit, every single person is insane, which means everybody's really interesting. You know, we're not, we're not just, we're not just simple robots. The first year that I was the editor of the magazine, I was meeting all kinds of scientists. Some of them clearly were really good science. I'm almost the only person in the world who knows about this. This is wrong, you know, some, somebody should do something for these people. They, they should be getting some kind of honor or something. Welcome to the 26th first annual Ig Nobel Prize ceremony. Three, two, one, launch! They had a lot of money to spend. The main purpose was to make it really dignified and imposing, and it is. If you're trying to put on an event that's funny, the ideal thing is to have a setting that is so completely dignified, the setting does half the work for us. You need to know some background before you can see why it makes sense that they're doing this. And until you, until you know the background, it seems like these are just crazy people. <laughs> you know, they're scientists, obviously they're crazy people. And we're crazy people who, pers who find other crazy people, crazy in good ways. We're amusing ourselves and educating ourselves, and we're also getting a lot more people to see that it's okay to be interested in things. And winner of the 1986 Nobel Prize in Chemistry, Dudley Hirschbach. Time is precisely the difference between now... One thing that's common to all of the, the things that win a prize is they are completely surprising. And that conversation is the first moment they realize that what they've been doing is funny. You know, in English, that word funny has the double meaning. I mean, that's extremely unexpected. And, and also the other meaning, that that's humorous. And I always liked things where those two meanings are very much present together. This is the Ig Nobel Prize. As you can see, this year's prize is a traditional round clock in which the minute hand and the hour hand have each been replaced with a miniature hourglass filled with sand. Science that the rest of the world doesn't see. Yeah, they know they're gonna fail a lot of the time, but, but they don't let that stop them. If you can learn to find something funny about the fact that you're failing, but you, something in you makes you keep going, if you can learn to laugh at that, isn't that gonna make life a little better? And isn't it, isn't, doesn't that mean you're probably gonna be a lot better at your job? More important than that, important people are telling you that's not interesting or they're telling you that's not important you don't have to go along with them for me and for every for the whole world is this idea that you can make your own decision about what's important what you are interested in and what's good and what's bad to me that's what makes the world a better place that people can decide those things